In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, you lived for one purpose, to be the personal servant of Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. Your noble birth and ancestry, the graces and gifts so generously poured out on you by God, all this was yours to serve our Lord better. Every thought, word, and action of yours was a homage to the love and glory of the incarnate Word. You fulfilled most faithfully the role of a good and faithful servant who cared for the house of God. How heroic was your obedience. Your position in the Holy Family obliged you to command, but besides being the foster father of Jesus, you were also his disciple. Through his early years, you watched the God-man display a simple and prompt obedience, and you grew to love and practice it faithfully yourself. You in turn submitted to God, to the civil rulers, and to the voice of your conscience. When God sent an angel to tell you to care for Mary, you obeyed in spite of the mystery which surrounded her motherhood. When you were told to flee into Egypt under painful conditions, you obeyed without the slightest word of complaint. When God advised you in a dream to return to Nazareth, you obeyed. In every situation, your obedience was as simple as your faith, as humble as your heart, as prompt as your love. It neglected nothing. It took in every command. You had the virtue of perfect devotedness, which marks a good servant. Every moment of your life was consecrated to the service of our Lord. Sleep, rest, work, pain. Faithful to your duties, you sacrificed everything unselfishly, even cheerfully. You would have sacrificed even the happiness of being with Mary. The rest and quiet of Nazareth was sacrificed at the call of duty. Your entire life was one generous giving even to the point of being ready to die in proof of your love for Jesus and Mary. With true, unselfish devotedness, you worked without praise or reward. But God wanted you to be, in a certain sense, a cooperator in the redemption of the world. He confided to you the care of nourishing and defending the divine child. He wanted you to be poor and to suffer because he destined you to be the foster father of his son who came into this world to save all people by his sufferings and death. And you were to share in his suffering. In all of these important tasks, the Heavenly Father always found you a faithful servant. St. Joseph, I thank God for your privilege of being God's faithful servant. As a token of your own gratitude to God, obtain for me the grace to be a faithful servant of God as you were. Help me to share, as you did, the perfect obedience of Jesus, who came not to do his will, but the will of his Father, to trust in the providence of God, knowing that if I do his will, he will provide for all my needs of soul and body, to be calm in my trials, and to leave it to our Lord to free me from them when it pleases him to do so. And help me to imitate your generosity, for there can be no greater reward here on earth than the joy and honor of being a faithful servant of God. St. Joseph, I, your unworthy child, greet you. You are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have special confidence in you and that after Jesus and Mary, I place all my hope of salvation in you, for you are especially powerful with God and will never abandon your faithful servants. Therefore, I humbly invoke you and commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me to your intercession. I beg of you, by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon me during life and to assist me at the hour of my death. Glorious St. Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my Father, and my model through life, that I may merit to die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving St. Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, we raise our hearts to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for our spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special graces we now implore. 
Today we pray for our priests in the Diocese of Ackensburg, both living and deceased. We pray for all the, uh, to end the end of the coronavirus and those who take care of those, the sick. And that's my prayer for today. Lord Jesus, we place before you all our children and young kids who would love to love you more and know you more, better and better each day. May you grant your grace and blessings each and every moment that they think of you. Amen. Today I'd like to pray for all families, for our youth, for our teachers, for all those in authority, that they will have wisdom and guidance and make all the right decisions. Guardian of the Word Incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers in my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Amen. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, my loving protector, St. Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or asked for your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you, despise not my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.